Hey coin enthusiasts, welcome back to the channel. Today we're diving into a fascinating coin that you might just have sitting around in your collection the 1968 quarter dollar. You might be surprised to learn that this seemingly common coin could hold a higher value than you expect, and we're going to explore all the reasons why. Stick around because we'll uncover whether this 25 cent dollar is worth just pocket change, or if it could be one of those rare million dollar quarters you hear about. The 1968 quarter dollar is a significant part of US. Coinage history, minted at a time when the country had fully transitioned from using silver to copper nickel in its circulating coins. If you have a 1968 quarter, chances are it doesn't contain any silver, but don't let that fool you into thinking it has no value. The 1968 quarter dollar value can vary greatly depending on factors like its condition, mint mark, and any unique errors it may have. Let's talk about the basics. The one quarter dollar or 25 cents USD is made of copper nickel, unlike the older quarters that were made of 90% silver. This means that the quarter dollar price isn't influenced by silver content, but rather by its collector value, which can still surprise you. If your 1968 quarter is in pristine, uncirculated condition, or if you happen to come across a rare error coin, you could be looking at something worth more than just 25 cents USD. Minting errors, such as off-center strikes or double-die errors, can make these quarters incredibly valuable to collectors. Did you know that even a regular quarter-dollar 1968 Valor in good condition can fetch higher prices among collectors? While circulated coins might only be worth their face value, a quarter-dollar 1968 in mint state can reach up to a few dollars or even more, depending on its rarity and demand in the market. There are some key things to check for on your 1968 quarter-dollar. Mint Mark's quarters from 1968 were minted in Philadelphia no mint mark in Denver with a D mint mark. If you find one with a D mint mark in uncirculated condition, it could be worth more than a typical coin. Minting errors be on the lookout for those highly valuable minting errors that can significantly boost the quarter dollar price. Coins with double dies or off-center strikes can turn a normal quarter into a rare collector's item worth hundreds or even thousands of dollars. Though it's rare to come across one of those million dollar quarters, Always remember that unusual minting errors can lead to big payouts if you know what to look for. The 1960s were a pivotal era for US coinage. The 1968 quarter dollar was among the first quarters to be minted without silver content following the Coinage Act of 1965, which eliminated silver from dimes and quarters. This change in composition meant these coins were much more abundant, but also more prone to wear and tear. Despite their commonality, many collectors still seek out 1968 quarter dollars, particularly those in excellent condition. These coins hold not only historical significance, but are also an essential part of a complete U.S. coin collection. If you have a 1968 quarter that's been sitting around for years, it's worth taking a closer look to see if you've got a hidden treasure in your possession. Before we wrap up, we've got even more exciting coins to talk about in our next video. If you're curious about other potentially valuable coins like the 1970 quarter dollar, or if you've heard rumors about quarters worth millions of dollars, stay tuned, we've got you covered. So while the 1968 quarter dollar may not always contain the silver of older coins, it still has potential value, especially to collectors. Whether it's an error coin or a pristine, uncirculated example, this coin has more to it than meets the eye. Don't forget to check your collection, you never know if you're sitting on a valuable piece of history. Thanks for watching and make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more exciting coin videos.